I call uh, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I will add my congratulations to the member in charge of this bill, Chris Bishop, um, who who introduced this bill. Uh, wasn't um, wasn't the first member attached to this bill, but it has to be said that in the in the time of consideration of this bill in the select committee. Chris Bishop uh, made an impact on the, the very shape of the bill, um, including the name of the bill. So he, he does deserve a, a good deal of credit for the work that he did on the bill once it came to us in select committee. We considered this bill in, in committee for uh, over 12 months and uh, gave it um, a lot of consideration and significant improvement on the way through. Um, we, we did receive a number of submissions on this bill and a number of New Zealanders who came to submit in person to the Health Committee on this bill. And what was notable ar around that was um, it, it couldn't be ignored that those New Zealanders who have been in receipt of, of an organ donation it's a life-changing event, not only for them in terms of their health and their life expectancy, but also for their families and friends. Um, it, is, it is a large event in each and every one of those persons' lives. And so that comes to the very heart of why this bill, I believe, is being so enthusiastically supported across the House and across wider New Zealand, is that um, what is seemingly a small legislative measure um, although I'm sure Chris Bishop would argue otherwise, but what is a small measure here in the Parliament has such a um, disproportionate and beneficial impact on, on those individual New Zealanders who are in receipt of, uh, of an organ and will increasingly be so in New Zealand as a result of this legislation. So we are, I believe, um, as parliamentarians and, and the member in charge, Chris Bishop, certainly has raised the um, raise the issue publicly and so now I, I guess we would all like to think that the issue of live organ donation and the opportunities that that brings for recipients but also donors has been much enhanced by this parliamentary process. At, at also at the heart of, of this bill is the notion that the donation of, of an organ, of the live donation of an organ is a very altruistic move either um, promoted by love or promoted by um, some feeling of making a contribution to a person. And so, and so deservedly, they should expect compensation um, while they recover from that donation because it's a big event, it's a big medical event donating a live organ for that person and there will be a time of recovery and adjustment. And so um, th this bill seeks and does very adequately, I believe, compensate those um, New Zealanders who big-heartedly make a donation. That was almost a joke, but not quite, because, of course, um, um, live, live organ donation now is restricted to kidney and liver donations, but also in this um, bill there is the ability to widen the scope of live organ donation as medical advances occur. So we do have in New Zealand a low organ donor donation rate. Um, again, I think the, through the offices of this bill, um, that is another barrier that will be uh, removed. Um, there are a number of strategies across government um, uh, committed to increasing organ donation, um, and that includes um, including a wider government review of deceased organ donations. So there are many implications and ramifications of this bill. Currently, there aren't enough donations to meet demand, and, I, and it is hoped that um, with, with government policy enhancing the increase of organ donation rates and both in budgets 2012 and 14, um, there were financial increases to work towards uh, uh, this purpose of, of increasing organ donation. I just want to, I just want to close my contribution by 
Once again, thanking those submitters who took the time to submit to the Health Select Committee, either in writing or teleconferencing us or coming in and sharing their personal stories. Those personal stories of New Zealanders giving their take on the issue based on their experience of the issue, which has been most effective in our consideration. So to those of them out there, I think a pretty heartfelt thank you from the committee. And with those comments, um, I conclude my contribution and my congratulations uh, to the member in charge in getting this quite significant piece of legislation through the House. Thank you. Mr. Speaker.